Hi, it's Nell, and I'm hanging out on my side patio with my baby rubber plant because this is all about pruning and propagating Peperomia obtusifolia. This is the easiest way that I find to propagate this plant that you will see coming up soon. And if you like videos about gardening, house plants, succulents, bromeliads, on and on, be sure to subscribe because I upload a new video every week. So here is where the peperomia is in my guest bathroom. And it's just sort of all propped up in the corner here. It's just, you know, taken up a little too much real estate. And that is the A rainbow peperomia in front of it. And that right there, that strange, you know, strange looking thing in case you haven't ever seen one before is the flower of a peperomia. Okay, so now you can see what's going on with this crazy plant. And these um, actually prune very, very well. You can prune them fairly hard and that's what I'm going to do because it has a lot of uh, new growth coming in here too. So that's better. And this is one plant that I, I really, I like this plant. It does well here even in the desert. So I'm going to um, actually propagate these cuttings for myself. All right, so here we go. My pruners are nice and sharp. And let's see, I'm gonna start with this one here. It has two pieces of new growth coming off of it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to do this one right here. And this one is actually coming off of this one. It's all one stem. And I think this one, I'm just going to tip prune. This I'm going to prune to here. And I'm just making some straight cuts across. And this one is really flopping, but it has some growth coming there. So we're going to go right there. Actually, this one, this one here, is leaning in to this, so it's going to grow into it, so I don't want that. So I'm going to cut this one right here. And this plant grows fast, so that's the uh, word on that. But <laughs> I'm going to turn this around to there now, so you can see that while I prune here, because otherwise I can't see obviously and this one right here i'll turn it around to show you these two cuts i made here i might be able to do it just leaning over i think i can yes so you can see better so let's do this one here you can always start with a smaller cut and then make a bigger cut like if you're like oh you know, I'm unsure, do that. And then I'm gonna cut, cut this one right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it all around and see what I think of it. That's kind of strange there, that's flopping over there. So I'm gonna cut this one right there. And that is it. Now, it looks a little bit awkward now, but believe me, with the warmer weather coming, it's March um, 19th. Oh, it's actually the day before spring. So it'll grow like crazy. So if you make a bad cut or two, don't feel bad because this plant does grow fast and it grows pretty thick. My advice to you, if you are new, just start, start smaller and then work your way to bigger cuts. I took bigger cuts because I have pruned these plants before. And also I wanted longer stems. And what is the best time for 
pruning this plant, you ask? Well, it is now spring and summer. It's best done in the warmer months. So the plant has time to recover and grow before it goes into its wintry, sleepy time. And we will start with my preferred method of propagation because I think it's the easiest for these plants. And that is by stem cuttings in water. I've had this one in water for three or four weeks now, and there are some roots starting to appear. I will zoom in closer for this so you can see, but there's also all these little, they look like nodes, you know, popping out. And that's exactly what they are. They're just the roots about to appear. And that to me is the easiest. The second you can do is by stem cuttings in a mix and that is filling up a pot however big a pot you want a four inch or six inch depending on how many cuttings you have and you use a very light mix either a propagation mix or a succulent and cactus mix and you want to make sure it's thoroughly moist and then you put the cutting into that and it will eventually root in that mix the third is by division and that is dividing the plant up into one or two or three. If you've seen my video on, on the ZZ plant, that, that's what I did is I divided my ZZ plant into three. It is sometimes difficult to do to get exactly, you know, the proportions you want, but that is another method. And the fourth that I know of is by leaf cuttings. So you take the individual leaves, I'm going to find one, and you want to get, you want to get a piece of the stem too. You don't want to cut the leaf up here. You want to make sure you get the end and you heal it off for like a, you know, a day maybe because these are succulents. They aren't succulents. They are succulent like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I said that, <laughs> but they have thick fleshy leaves that store water in the stems too. So heal it over for anywhere from half a day to a day and then you can put it into that light mix. For me, I'm way too impatient for that. Um, and they probably propagate by seed, but again, way too impatient for that. I'll check on the seed. I'm pretty sure they are, but um, this to me is the easiest way in water. So it's what I am going to concentrate on here. Okay, so I have a large glass here. I'm just going to peel off the bottom two leaves. This one has four, four leaves on it. I've done it anywhere up to leaving seven or eight leaves on. A good rule of thumb is leave on, oops, and leave on anywhere from three to seven leaves. This one is very, very strange so i don't know if i'm even going to propagate this because it's so curved but i might just stick it in there regardless because it would be better cut there so maybe i'll do that so there it, it gives it a more upright start to its life <laughs> this one is fairly upright so i'm just going to cut it off there and this one here, right there. Let's see, there. Ooh. Get those bottom leaves off. Do I like that? I think I'm gonna cut this one off to here too. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through and finish these. I have some that were a lot smaller. So I don't know if I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to propagate those because I'm going to have enough and this plant is going to grow even more. So here's the cutting that I already had in the water for a while, just to show you up close. There's a root there and there's another one coming there. And there is a, a node emerging there, but they are all the way up and down the stems, as I said. Let's see. Yeah, there's one. Oh, my hands are so so dirty because I was handling some charcoal too. <laughs> so 
there are some of the nodes too. So I try and get stems of fairly equal length in the same uh, containers because I want them to root off of the same nodes. So are they all in? Yes, they're all in. So I'm going to put a little bit more water in there. And then I will check that probably every five days here because it's getting very warm. And I want to make sure that they are covered with water um, up to that first or second node so that uh, they can root. So I had a few shorter stems, so I put that in the smaller base because this will make a fine plant once they root. And now I'm going to put them in the house in a north facing window, which is actually very bright because I'm in, in you know, Tucson. So it's not going to be any direct light, but nice and bright. And I will maintain the water levels, make sure the water is fresh too. I probably change the water every three to four weeks, but I freshen it up every five days or so. Just be sure and check the, just be sure to check the water levels. So what kind of mix do you use for planting those cuttings once they're done? Well, after they, they are well rooted, then you can transplant them into a mix for peperomias. I've done a post on that. There's a blend that I like to use for them. So I will leave the link to that post and video down below. You can also find it in the blog post or on our website, joyousgarden.com. So I am going to wait till these are fairly well rooted, actually very well rooted because I'm in no hurry for another plant. So I will probably look at transplanting them in about two months, you know, planting the cuttings. So if you want, I can do a video on that because the video that I did prior on planting or repotting these was, was the plants and not the cuttings. So maybe I will do that just so I show you how I arrange, you know, the cuttings in a pot. And I can also show you how this plant is doing at that time. So I hope you have found this video about pruning a baby rubber plant to be helpful and also my favorite method of propagating, which again, I think is the easiest. But be sure and come back because I have a lot more videos coming your way. Oh, gardening, plants, house plants, bromeliads, all that good stuff. And don't forget to hit subscribe because I upload here every week. And I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. Now let's get into our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place. As always, I thank you so much for watching. Blah, 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 blah. I thank you so much for watching. It's late in the day and I want to start another video. Maybe that's too ambitious. Anyway, I thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.